Hi, my name's Rachel. I'm one of the senior academics here in the School of Medical Sciences at the University of Adelaide. One of my major teaching responsibilities is to coordinate first year human biology for our nursing program. In addition, I also run my own research lab and we investigate the toxic side effects of cancer chemotherapy and radiotherapy on the gut bacterial population of cancer patients. In week one, we investigated the basic structure and function of a cell with Mario. However, in a living person, a single cell can't operate by itself to perform a function. Instead, groups of related cells come together to form tissues. In fact, a tissue can be defined as cells with similar structure that work together to perform a common function. Now, even though we have lots of cells in our body, we're composed of just four different types of tissue. These are epithelium, connective, muscle, and nervous tissue. If we have a good understanding of how these tissues work, we'll have an excellent foundation for understanding how the organs of our body will work. This week, we're going to be examining epithelial tissue. Epithelial tissue is essentially a sheet of cells which lines our body's surface and lines all our body cavities. In addition, epithelial tissue forms all our glands. The objectives of this week's activities are, firstly, to describe the basic characteristics of epithelial tissue, to describe how epithelial tissue can be classified based on its appearance, to describe the junctions which hold epithelial cells together, and to describe how epithelial tissue can form glands.